got a goldfish pond back here, and I've showed it many times, but Richard, Richard wanted to take my goldfish and hook it on a, and let a bass take him, but I ain't going to let him do it. He said, no, we ain't going to do that, Richard. But the smallest ones in there would catch a 10-pound largemouth. Probably would. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. Woo! All right, folks, before we get started right here, let me show you the rig that Steve has tied on for me. It's a three jig rig right here. I have a, a swivel, barrel swivel, and I tied this knot with a Palomar, uh, no, a trilene knot, excuse me. We have a leader here of about a foot with an eighth ounce jig head. And <clears throat> these are Charlie Brewer jigs, ain't they? Yeah, Charlie Brewer. Charlie Brewer. Then we have another swivel right here with another leader coming off around a foot with another Charlie Brewer. And here on the bottom, same thing. But right here, he's added a split shot. Now, the reason why he does that is because, I'll just go ahead and, and show y'all. We're gonna pitch it out here. That split shot, being it's heavy on the end to keep those jigs separated. They'll keep them separated. And keep those jigs from tangling up right here now we're fixing to get on the fish here in a little bit and we'll see if we can catch one but it's on the bottom i'm just going to start reeling real real slow like that up to probably 10 or 12 feet and then drop it back there we go that might be a perch I believe we got a white perch. If it is, folks, it's the first one I've ever caught. Yep, look at there. Let's look at this fish, folks. Now, to me, that's special. Now, this is a little bitty one to Steve, but I've never caught one. Right here, that's a white perch. And they look a lot like a uh, white bass, but he's not. You can tell they're the, the lines are not pronounced. They don't have any, except for they got a lateral line. Ain't that cool? That's the delicious eating fish right there, ain't it? What about that? I'm tickled to death right there. And all we're doing is... Now, Steve, this is how you trigger fish in deep water right here. You're letting it down, and then you'll do a sweep. I, I'll, I'll pull, I'm letting it down. As I, I let my line down, I'm pulling the boat up about 20, 30 yards, and I'm putting a slant on the line. And by putting that slant on the line, it makes that uh, presentation at an angle. And they like that angle presentation. Is what they like. It triggers a reflexive bite, don't it? There he is. That's a stump. I got a stump, and that's something very unusual right now. Oh, man, there's a lot of fish right here. Let's let it down to the bottom. And what I'm doing is just coming up, and the fish are hitting it on the, on the up. <laughs> You got to love it. You got to love it. That's a nice white perch. Now we can eat him, can't we? Look at there. They. I got two of them. Look at there. That's a pretty fish, though. My goodness. Now, a lot of people would swear that that was a white bass, but yeah. there they are a lot of difference. Yeah, difference, a lot of difference. The white let's, bass got more let's throw them in the bucket. We're in, what, 35, 39 feet of water? Oh, uh, we're in 39. 39 feet of water. And all we're doing is dropping it to the bottom. And these fish are laying on the bottom, folks. It's a little bit different than than the way I crappie fish. This don't have anything to do with crappie fishing, but it's on the bottom now, and we're just bringing it up like that. And they're following it up and hitting it. And after we come up about 12, 14 feet, without a bite, you just drop it back. That's what we're doing. That's basically all we're doing right, right now. Trying to get on a big school of fish. White perch is what we're really after. Let's let it right back to the bottom. I'm about eight feet from the bottom. I'm just going to put it right back. 
Okay, we're on the bottom. Let's start it up. And there he is. Let's see if another one load up. Uh, uh, we're trying to get them to load up, folks, by keeping that jig down there with them after we hook a fish, but that ain't been the case. There we go. Look, they're getting a little bigger. Look at there, folks. Ain't that beautiful. We're starting to put some in the bucket now here. Get on in there, boy. All you got to do is just drop it to the bottom. That's a simple fish. It's, <laughs> look at it. Simple, ain't it, Steve? You ain't got a cast. I'm worth your shoulders. That's why I started fishing like this. But you got to know how to read that depth finder and get on them. Yeah, that's that's the thing that. about it. Look here. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, That's funny. Oh, man. <laughs> look here, folks. We ain't been here long at all. Look here. The bucket's starting to get. Look yonder. That's how they're biting. One after another. Now, let's look. Here's the size shad they're biting. See, there's about an inch and a half long. That's about what her baits are. Inch and a half to two inches. We're matching the hatch here on Lake Murray. With the old fisherman. Yes, sir. <laughs> and love and life. So what we're doing is we got a swivel here with a four carbon, 12 pound line, seagull line, and we got a quarter ounce jig head with a, a, a swimming minnow from Charlie Brewer and a, a double action minnow. And we got another one here on an eighth ounce head, an archer head from Walmart, a Charlie Brewer swimming minnow, and at the bottom, uh, right here, we got a lead above it, and we got a, a another quarter ounce jig with a three inch swimming minnow on it. Uh, uh, a three inch jig, rather, from Charlie Brewer. But hey, we're gonna take these and we're gonna drop them down with the come around a circle swing, and uh, and put a slant on the line. We'll drop them down. As we drop them down, we're gonna pull the boat up about 20, 30 yards, and then we're gonna reel them in at a slant, and that creates the bite. It, it, it looks like the shad's trying to swim away from them. Hey, that's what it takes to catch these fish. Now, if they really get the biting good, you can drop it straight down and pull it straight up and still catch them, but they don't like it. When they get where they don't want to bite, you've got to slant the line. That's the key. There we go. Let's see if we can get another one. Load. load up. Load up. I believe we may have two this time. I felt, I believe I felt another one latch on to it. Look here. Oh, Woo! Now, folks, this is Kamalander style. This is what the old boy's been telling me about. Yeah. Three at a time. That's what we've been wanting right here. I got two at a time. And it looks to me like all of them's eaters. Yeah. Well, I got one too little to do it. Steve's got two at a time. Hey, we're catching fish, man. I want you to look here. When I hooked him, I just left him down there and the other two loaded up on them jigs. Look at there. Same size of jigs we're using. Matching the hatch. Look here. There's one. Let's just leave him down. Oh, I got another one on, folks. I felt him when he hit it. That braid is so sensitive. Ooh, I hope he didn't come off right then. But I still think we got two. Now we just got one good, good perch. That's a jumbo, but it ain't a jumbo magnum, is it? Boy, them fish is thick. I bet they got thick fillets on them. Throw them in the bucket. Two at a time. Look here. They. Lake Murray. Woo! Wow. <laughs> you gotta love it. Gotta love it. I'm talking about. Let's see if we can catch her right here. Oh my! Come on in here to the old fish. Three at a time. You got I'm getting tickled. That one on top side, good. Nice one right there. Look at that, folks. Huh? You got to love it. My, my, my. I tell you, old Bursel. If he was here, he, well. Bursel, Bursel and his wife is fussing here lately a little too much. 
And he's always got gas. Bursal does. I'm glad he ain't here, to tell you the truth, Steve. <laughs> you got another one, ain't you? Oh, you got three at a time. Look here. Oh, me. I missed one right there, watching you. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Can we get two on here? Or three. May do it, doing that right there. That's some deep water, folks. Look here, I'm, we, <laughs> I just held it down there to another loaded up. When he did, Steve seen it. He seen it when he loaded up and hit it. Ow, them gill rakes are sharp. Put him in the bucket. It got me a little bit, not bad. Come in here, Fee. Woo, me and Steve, we got some cleaning to do. I know that. A bunch of it, too. Not just a little. <laughs> All right, folks, we fixing to get off the water. We got a lot of fish cleaning to do. We got to organize our tackle. Oh my goodness, and all kinds of stuff right here, and so we can get ready for the fish tomorrow. But I want y'all to look at the fish we got to clean. White perch. And now notice, here's the three of fin shad that they're spitting up right there, and that's about the size of bait that we use today. We caught them till we give out. God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments. Everything y'all do, hey. Whoa! I got it. It's called a drillogen. <laughs> and remember, go fishing when you can because it's good for you. Whoa!